500 hours plus later this is one stunning show trailer inside and out toy hauler the queen size bed with of course a red white and blue american flag bed spread on there that, that uh super comfy all aluminum all led lights every light on this trailer is brand new it's a brand new ppg base coat clear coat paint job tinted windows just put this aluminum brand new aluminum all the way around on it polished aluminum mags all new wheel bearings this trailer is basically brand new these these are the original tires that are on it and they got 90 percent tread left 95 percent tread doors fully custom wrapped in diamond tread plate aluminum ppg paint job bed liner coated around the inside this thing is really an amazing piece you got to see the inside of it screen door polished aluminum entryway even the door jams are polished on this thing like a just like a show truck just like the kenworth all custom aluminum cabinets full surround sound home theater system with subwoofer bluetooth uh four four speakers mounted on the ceiling the subwoofer in the cabinet carbon fiber wrapped aluminum cabinets with diamond tread plate and a rubber a work surface spare tire microwave and refrigerator it's loaded i'll have a full video on it soon but uh, you guys have been watching the channel you know it's been a long time coming it's got a porta potty and a sink in the back uh honda generator the generator is kind of cool it's got a uh all american flag wrap on the side of it has the uh wall mounted brand new floor jack every light in the trailer is custom and brand new these are led 12 volt lights on the ceiling we've got one 10 volt four foot brand new lamps we put in there Everything's brand new in here. Insulated, carpeted, rhino liner, floor liner, ready for Daytona. Three wheel chocks in the floor. It comes with enough tie downs. I believe there's uh, six sets of tie downs in here that are already mounted on the wall over there in the corners, you can see. Uh, 15 AC outlets. It's wired for shore power also. As you can see, it's got the outlets all, all the way around. E track on the walls all the way around. Coat hanger hanging from the underneath the cabinet there. Cabinets on both sides in the top and a big one in the front. That one's fully customized also with the TV on the top and uh, the diamond tread plate trim, the uh, carbon fiber wrap on the door. Uh, lightweight aluminum. This whole trailer is all aluminum. Stronger and lighter than a steel trailer. It'll never rust, it'll basically last forever. A screen door. Like I said, one, one 10 volt and uh, 12 volt lighting package. Oh, the best part about it, I didn't even show you. That's an observation deck on the top. It has rails that flip up all the way around and it has a brand new marine grade plywood floor that's been stained a light color so it reflects heat. Uh, the, even the ladder was polished. Every bit of aluminum on this trailer and stainless steel has all been polished. I haven't added up all the work orders, but I know we're over 500 hours. Carlos had over 120 hours just in polishing all the aluminum on it. Came out freaking amazing. I will do a full video on this with it fully set up. It also has a LED light package on it. Uh, the, every single light on this trailer, on the exterior, is LED, of course. Uh, but the interior is not only all LED lights, but it also has an LED accent lighting around the perimeter around the ceiling on the inside all the way around that is set up with a little computer so it can be like six different colors white red blue whatever you want and it also you can set it up so that it'll coordinate with the music you're playing to give you like a light show it's pretty cool or just have it alternate between colors back doors of course wrapped in aluminum now if you price one of these all aluminum toy haulers from like atc or Featherlight, they start they start at around $65,000, $70,000. They're extremely expensive, roughly twice what would a balsa wood, you know, fiber, fiberglass and balsa wood one, you know. The quality of most toy haulers are their 10 year throwaways. This one here is a forever trailer. If, if you got a brand new 
pick up and some new bikes and you want to show up at Daytona with a really super sleek setup that's not too big it's only 19 foot from the back to the tip right here uh, with the tip of the V-nose so I haven't added up all the invoices for the home theater system and the subwoofer and the TV and all that other stuff we've done to it or all the time cards but I know there's over 500 hours labor in this thing so it's uh it's not going to be cheap but it's going to be worth it it's a super nice even the frame all aluminum frame the frame is polished aluminum too and the underside of it right here that's all aluminum guys so it'll never rust ever it should last forever if you take care of it these are the original Goodyear tires proving this thing's got no miles on it all brand new custom LED lights even the hinges are polished on this thing the beauty of it too is you don't need a diesel dually like mine to haul it you can haul this behind a half ton truck no problem you got a Toyota you want to tow it no problem um, any half ton truck will tow this you could even tow it with a v6 no doubt about it because it's lightweight aluminum and it'll haul three full-size Harleys and it's set up trust me this Vino's it's not like pulling a barn door down the road it's very aerodynamic and uh, it's going to tow a lot better than the square trailer, except especially behind a pickup truck. And the aluminum, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, it has a brand new Solera awning in black here. A uh, 16 foot awning with a matching black awning that, that uh, goes up on the upper deck. So you have a six foot awning on the top there. And of course, the 16 foot one on the side here. The rear door. Is covered in diamond tread plate and the floor is all rhino lined so it's virtually maintenance free and uh, has an electric heater of course a porta potty in the sink and a porta shower so you can take care of business shower and shave in here and of course sleep in that big giant comfy queen size bed with the American flag bed spread and pillows it's all set up ready to go just put your bikes in there and head to Daytona it also has extra height when you compare it to my featherlight trailer over here it's substantially higher of course it's a lot nicer but it's it's a about a foot and a half higher than the feather light and it just looks badass uh, the windows are all tinted the windows on, on the sides here and there's they have screens in them three of the four of them are sliding windows one's a stationary but uh, yeah what do you think I mean would you like to have this for Daytona there's something to be said for Bigger's not always better when it comes to trailers like my 45 footer. You got to plan ahead, man. You don't just go to a race and hope you can find a spot. You got to be the first one there and the last one out. With this thing, you could park this at Walmart, wherever, and uh, you'll fit in it pretty much anywhere because it's not not much longer than, than the truck. It's, like I said, 19 foot and very lightweight. Anyways, I'm taking it down to our new storage facility we have down the road here that we rented to store the trailers for the winter. And um, we'll have a full video and ad. It'll go up for sale. Um, if you're interested in it, give Junior a call, 860-454-7024. And uh, I don't know if you can see it through the tinted window that well, but you can see it's pretty pretty badass. Um, we will, uh, like I said, we'll have a full write-up on eBay about it, um, listing everything we've done with all the time cards and all that. It was uh, done by Craftsman, the, the guys who worked on this, Dean He's been a carpenter for 30 years, union carpenter for 30 years. He's here because he loves motorcycles and likes working on these kind of projects. Woody's been a, a painter for 30 years. Woody and Dean did, did the paint and body work and laid down this badass paint job and mounted all the aluminum on here. Dean that mounted all the aluminum actually. Uh, he's really good with metal too. Dean did all the cabinet customizing inside. Uh, Ronnie and Carlos, John Lee put a lot of time in it. We had the whole team working on this and we got it uh, back in March, so all in all, about nine months on and off in between other motorcycle projects and waiting for parts, we got it together, but it's done and ready to go. It has the, the side door is lowered down, so you don't need a step outside, which is kind of cool, it has a step wall built in, and uh, it's high enough where it's not going to get hung up on, on the, the ground. I need to lower my hitch a little bit, my hitch on my truck's a little too high right now, it's actually, uh, should be a little bit lower in the front, but I'm only taking about a mile down the road. Like I said, you don't need a diesel dually. I'm also getting it out of here now because we got snow coming. Supposedly 10 inches of snow tonight, so I'm gonna be uh, watching A1 tonight. 
I'm gonna tuck this beautiful trailer away in our storage facility. Brand new building, my friend Brent Moser built down the road. He built a 60 by 150 with 14 foot ceilings and we're storing our real nice stuff inside of there like this in the semis. So anyways, I'm kind of rambling, but thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoy what we've created here. Um, we also have a flip down. This is light enough that you can do a flip down thing and move it around. Uh, we'll try try that with your double your double jack uh, fifth wheel. This thing's super light, brand new aluminum on the nose here. Aluminum details everywhere. Fulton hitch wiring harness is, is mint. It's got a brand new breakaway cable here, and also a brand new battery for the breakaway that we haven't even put in yet because we, we want it might be sitting till spring. You know, I don't know. So but the ladder is cool. It looks sick with the with the awning out. And the rooftop deck open our next video we do want it i'll have the, the the sound system cranking the tv playing videos both awnings out and the rooftop deck up so stay tuned for that demo uh if it's not sold already by then appreciate y'all for watching appreciate the support this was built to make somebody's motorcycling life a hell of a lot better just hop in and go little tiny house on wheels with three bikes in it it's not so tiny like i said that looks looks much bigger than my feather light over there's black and it's badass it's black and chrome so it'll go with any color truck if you had a black truck this would look sick behind it but um if it doesn't if it's not sold it'll be behind my my f450 come springtime for sure um i don't know if i can stand up on the wall here and show you the roof the roof is all aluminum on this thing and because it's all aluminum it'll never rust this isn't the best shot here but you can see it's a one-piece aluminum roof and it has the vent there in fact carlos and I both sanded the aluminum roof with 600 grit sandpaper. It's super clean. Uh, this rooftop deck was was uh, off the truck, polished, and then uh, we resealed the entire roof with 3M products. And so the roof's completely sealed. It's a one-piece aluminum. It'll never leak. And of course, the aluminum ladder here will never rust or corrode. Even the ladder's polished. I mean, it's a ridiculous amount of work. To, this is this is a Rolex, folks. That's what this trailer has become. It's an absolute Rolex, but it takes a lot of time and a lot of help from some skilled craftsmen. That's for sure. Oh, a uh, shout out to Atlas Metal, my buddy Rob at Atlas Metal. They, he he got us all the diamond tread plate, uh, the aluminum sides, all the aluminum inside the trailer. That was all custom cut. It's all custom cut by Atlas Metal. Uh, Rob hooked us up and. Uh, I think the finished product speaks for itself. Freaking beautiful. Marathon Radios Goodyear's original ones that came with it. Yes, sir. A lot of work. Proud of my team putting this thing together and all the systems in it, the surround sound system, everything else, the carpentry work, Dean and bodywork woody and uh paint and boys did a wonderful job that's off to the team they deserve all the credit thanks for watching guys and as always god bless the united states of america